Hello everyone, Chuck, Northside Guy, today coming with a quick video uh, featuring two cards from the 1933 Gaudi series in which Goose Goslin appears. Goose Goslin uh, was known for being a, a powerful hitter and dependable in, uh, in the clutch. He is a Hall of Famer, <clears throat> voted in by the Veterans Committee in 1968. Uh, lifetime batting average of 316 with 2,735 hits. Uh, I think we should uh, first get to the heart of the matter, and that is why is he called Goose? Um, Goslin's difficulty in judging fly balls contributed to his nickname Goose. Opposing players said Goslin resembled a bird flapping its wings uh, when he ran after a ball with his arms waving. So that's how he got the name Goose. He got his start working with the playing for the Washington Senators and was instrumental in uh, helping a, turn around a team that had losing records in 1922 and 1923. And he helped spark the team to a 92 win season and their first World Series championship in 1924. With a 36-year-old Walter Johnson contributing 23 wins and the young Goslin knocking in 129 runs. 50 more ribbies than any other player on the team, by the way. The Senators finished two games ahead of the Yankees and defeated the Giants in the 1924 World Series. Uh, then again, in 1925, he contributed a uh, batting average of 334, 113 ribbies, and he led the American lead with 20 triples. But it wasn't until 1928 when he had his career high uh, batting average of 379 and won the batting crown that uh, we get to the heart of the matter in an interesting story. The 1928 batting title was not decided until the last day of the season. And uh, Goslin and Heine Manish, uh, by the way, I have another video featuring the cards of Heine Manish, so look for it, of uh, the St. Louis Browns were tied going into the final game. And the Senators and Browns played each other, in fact, in that final game. Goslin was leading Man Manish when it came his turn to bat in the ninth inning. If Gazan made an out, he would lose the batting crown. In Lawrence Ritter's history, The Glory of Their Times, a must-read for all of us, uh, Goslin described the events that followed. Manager Bucky Harris left the decision to Goslin on whether to bat or sit. Goslin decided to sit and take the batting crown, but his teammates, particularly Joe Judge, who we'll meet in another video, goaded him that he would appear yellow if he didn't bat. Goslin was persuaded to bat and promptly took two strikes. At that point, Goslin recalled that he recalled that he successfully tried to get ejected from the game, <clears throat> as the at bat would then disappear. Goslin began be, uh, arguing with the home plate ump about the strike calls, only to have the ump tell him he was not going to get ejected. He was wasn't going to get a walk, so he better step back up and swing. Goslin ended up with what he called a lucky hit to beat Manish by a fraction of the point. Interesting story. Goslin helped uh, his team uh, in 1933 in this uh, uh, year, the year that you see depicted here. He was back with the Senators after having spent a few years uh, with the St. Louis Browns. He came back to the World Series in 1933. Uh, he didn't have the power in 1933 that he had. Uh, in, in, you know, in fact, he posted his lowest number since his rookie season. And after the 1933 loss in the World Series, the Senators traded Goslin to the Detroit Tigers because they just couldn't afford him anymore. And in 1934, they were back in the World the Tigers with Goslin as one of the G-men, with Garinger and Greenberg and Goslin making up the G. The Tigers uh, in 34 sailed to a pennant with a 101 and 53 uh, record, and they lost subsequently to the Cardinals in the. Uh, in the World Series. Goslin, uh, let's talk some stats here. He holds the record for career home runs in Yankee Stadium by a visiting player with 32. Uh, he finished his career with 18 major league seasons, 316 batting average, 500 slugging percentage, 2,735 hits, 1,600 ribbies, 500 doubles, 173 triples, each of these stats ranks among the top 50 in each category in Major League history. He had 11 seasons with at least 100 RBIs, and 
His league leadership in ribbies in 1924 deprived Babe Ruth of a triple crown. And Goslin also hit 300 or better in 11 seasons in his career. Yes, this is, by the way, I'm going to speak a little more, but let's switch the cards up. I'm going to feature as a fit wrap up here the second card featuring Goslin. Goslin was elected in 1968 to the Baseball Hall of Fame along with Kiki Kyler by the Veterans Committee. And when he was inducted into the hall, Goslin broke down and cried. I have been lucky, he said. I want to thank God who gave me the health and strength to compete with these great players. I will never forget this. I will take this to my grave. And uh, that's what he did just a few years later, dying at age 70. So Goose Goslin, Hall of Famer.